back. I have another message for you all. I'm going to really try to keep this brief because, whew, all right. So essentially, there's some type of situation that is coming back from the past. So it feels like, okay, let's just make it clear. We're in cancer season. So cancer has to do with like past type of energy, okay? That's, that's what it's associated with. Um, I don't want to go too much into that. We're in cancer season. A lot of the things maybe that are happened in the past could be coming up. This could also be because there could be things that you don't know that happened in the past that are, that are coming back up, or this could just be sentiments because people knew that they did wrong in the past are coming back up. And maybe people are going to get karma now for shit they did in the past that they didn't think that they were going to get karma for either way. It's a lot of past energy that's influencing just the collective energy right now, but also the fact that the energy of cancer is very like, um, it, it puts people in their feelings, puts people in their emotions because, because people start to think back to previous times. Okay. Versus being more so in the present. So for some of you, it could be kind of conflicting for you to deal with this energy because you're, you want to move forward. You know what I'm saying? Like you're ready to move forward. You're ready to, um, just not be continuing to deal with people who from the past, you know, people from the past or situations from the past or, or it's shit that you over, like you already healed, you got clarity that you needed, you know what I'm saying? But you feel that you got the clarity, but I feel like you didn't get the clarity and, or God don't feel like you got the justice that you, that, that you deserve in a situation. So that's why this, this stuff is coming back up. So some of y'all are about to essentially get justice for things, for injustices that were done to you in the past. Now, that's essentially what's the message. So what I'm getting is, and I got all these cards out here because I was just going through them, just whatever. So essentially what happened was, it could be a situation when it comes to love and romance. You had somebody who may have been in a relationship or they were already in some type of arrangement, commitment, contract, whatever they want to call it. There was another individual who influenced, and I'm not about to even say zodiac signs because when the message is put out there, people going to know who, who this is for. You, you don't know exactly who you are and where you fit in this situation. So essentially there was another individual who got consulted or was advised and given someone advice about how they should proceed in a relationship. Now, what I'm picking up is whoever this person was who was giving advice out, okay, um, the individual who was receiving this advice kind of already had some type of apprehension about this individual. They had already either been warned about this person or they already just kind of had like their guards up in regards to this person because they kind of felt like, I'm hearing they could have either felt like this person is messy or this person, I don't know, it's just, maybe it was just something about this person that rubbed them the wrong way or there was previous type of like, uh, what's the word called? It, it was a previous situation where this person felt like they should not trust this individual. So these could be people who, where they have had past history with each other or someone's just heard past things about this person that's not good or this person just intuitively just felt like, I don't really like, it's something about this person that kind of rubbed me the wrong way type of thing. So this individual took it upon themselves to give somebody some advice about making a decision when it came to love and romance. So it feels like there was an, at least an option between two people. So it feels like one person could have either been someone who somebody was already either married to or somebody had a kid with, okay? And then the other person was somebody where it's like that person had more going for themselves and or this person just seemed to be just either too much of a, I don't want to say they were a free spirit. It's, it's just more so like, okay, well, this person can fend for themselves. This person can take care of themselves type of thing. But it's almost like somebody directed an individual who wanted to come towards you towards the person who was codependent and needy. So this could be like somebody who, what I kept getting was whoever the codependent needy person was, that individual who wanted to come towards you saw this person as being manipulative. They saw this person as tricking them into either getting married or tricking them into having a baby. Um, so this person already knew that this person had like manipulative type of um, traits about them. So they didn't really like see this person as someone who I'm not getting love. It's more so like if they were going to be with this person, it was more so ob obligation type of thing versus you. They saw like that you either had things going on for yourself that you could take care of yourself, that you didn't need anybody. And maybe that is what attracted them to you. But then also that could have been something that this individual who was counseling them was saying like was negatives about you, which I don't know how that's negative. Anyways, I'm trying to keep my opinion out of this and try to keep this short. Anyway, so the person who was counseling them could have been saying like, yeah, this person don't really need you. They can take care of themselves. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, basically you would have to like 
start all over with this person where you already have something established with this individual because either you're married to this person, they're, they were married to the codependent needy person who was manipulative or they already like got this person pregnant. So it's like, would you rather start over from scratch with someone where you don't really got something established or you don't have a family with this person or you're not married to this person. So it's like, do you really want to be with that person? Because that person's single technically, you know, that person's free. So it's like that person can go do what they want to do. That person can get whoever they want. You know, this person's very attractive. Um, and it kind of feels like whoever was counseling this individual kind of made it seem like those were bad traits, okay? Like, like this person doesn't really need you. This person is, like, very attractive. This person can have anyone who they want. At any per point in time, like, you know, this person has that, 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 you know what I'm saying, like, for you to consider versus someone who is the codependent, manipulative individual who tr tricks somebody into, I'm hearing snakes, somebody into either getting married or getting pregnant, getting them pregnant, okay? And then... Um, and that energy was coming up as somebody who, like, they were very persistent with chasing this person down. And that was something that maybe this person was like, oh, well, maybe I should go towards this person because this person keeps actively pursuing me. Which, I mean, if we're really talking about a healthy dynamic between a man and a woman, um, a woman should not be pursuing and chasing a man. I'm just going to keep it 100 from what I am being led and guided to say. The woman should not be chasing the man. However, whoever this person is felt like that was like, okay, well, this other person doesn't chase me. So that must mean like, yeah, this person is either seeing other people or this person thinks they're too good or this person just thinks too highly of themselves, <laughs> right? Or, or this person doesn't need me. Essentially, this person's not chasing me down, so this person must not need me. Like, And then the other thing about this other individual was that this person would follow them like a puppy, literally, like follow them around. So it's just like, I'm not quite sure how someone spun that to make it sound delicious and sexy to like yeah like that's the better choice for you to go be with this person because this person is codependent you know uh I just thought of something okay it could have to do with someone's belief sets or if this is a, a culture thing then it could have to do something with that or if this is some type of religion that someone is in then it could have something to do with that so it could have something to do with someone being duped into thinking that somebody was more submissive or that was a, a trait of being submissive like like okay you're not going to be able to tell this other person who is more independent and this person who's very attractive what to do versus this independent versus this other individual who lacks the sense of self-worth you know they have to trick you into getting the baby they um follow you everywhere like a puppy um and they're constantly pursuing you all they see is you so essentially the person who doesn't have a life that's the person who you should go towards <laughs> right not considering do you even have chemistry with this person do you have like can you build a family with this person should you even be building a family with this person does this person even fucking truly like whatever the sex this individual is I mean is this person going to be a liability you know it's, it's just kind of like somebody wasn't asking the right questions they just went along with whatever this other person advised them and then whoever this person is could have been doing black magic on you to try to keep you stuck because they really don't want to be with this person who either trapped them into having a baby or trapped them into getting married. So they don't really want to be with this person. But yet this person has either been doing black magic on you or this person just has some type of like irresistible like magnetism towards you. And it's like they, they just will not let you go. So it's like they're still stuck on you, but yet they went to go heal something with this individual. Because I feel like they could have had an opportunity to walk away from this person. And that's why this person got the advice by whoever this, I'm hearing wicked counselor is. So whoever this person was, was a wicked counselor because they, they came with ill intent and evil intention. Okay. Kill, steal, and destroy. That's what the devil does. We're going to keep repeating that because people need to learn this lesson. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. The devil likes to intervene in situations where they see that it's going to be happiness, where there's going to be love, where God is going to be exalted. Okay, therefore, the devil was in this situation. Now, somebody went back to reconcile with someone where they clearly knew 
that they should not have been with this person. However, somebody made it sound sweet, delicious, juicy, sexy to be with somebody who follows them around like a puppy, who aggressively, you know, uh, pursues them and chases them down because for whatever reason, that makes a great spouse. Don't know what that has to do with anything, but I don't know. Everyone's different religions and what religions follow things of that nature. I, whatever. That's, that's the message that's coming through. So apparently that was the better choice, but someone knew that wasn't the better choice because they're still stuck on you. They're still holding on to your energy. And long story short, whoever the person is that trapped someone into getting pregnant, trapped someone into getting married, they're going to end up dying because they did black magic on you. They should not have fucked with you. They should not have sent any type of ill energy towards you. And, um, the death energy kept coming up multiple times. This person had someone do it or they did black magic on you. Um, this person could be concealing the fact that they are sick, okay, or that they're suffering from some type of um, illness. Now, for some of you, this could be one person who did this black magic or this could be someone who aligned with a, a whole bunch of other individuals to do this towards you because everybody wanted the favor to go into the individual who was manipulative, okay? The manipulative person who was trying to say that they either wanted to save their marriage or the manipulative person who was saying that they wanted to, um, that they, that they were pregnant and maybe they weren't pregnant at the time. They, they, uh, maybe later got pregnant or, um, the person who in fact trapped someone with having a baby. So everyone wanted to side with that person and they decided, oh yeah, we're going to work to conspire to do black magic on the other individual who is actually in fact the better choice, but because we have some type of align allegiance or a, yeah, alliance with whoever the manipulative ass person is who they let's, let's, let's just say, did these other people who cooperated in doing this black magic know that this other person was manipulative? Verify. One more time. Yes. So when it's all said and done, they did. They can try to act left, right, up and down, back and forth. They can try to act like they want, like they didn't know anything, but they knew that this person extreme is has extreme like control issues. Okay. And the other thing that I'm picking up as well too, whoever this person is, who these other individuals helped, they knew that this person has a history of doing this. So this is not this is not new. Okay, this could even be somebody who ha has been stalking you, okay, or getting other people to stalk you. So they clearly know that this person has some type of past history of um, being a stalker um, or I'm hearing DUIs. Um, this person could be physically abusive. So th there could be something that actually, in fact, proves this, okay? And these people know this, but yet they still help this individual to go towards this. They, they helped collaborate to get you out of the way and they should not have done that period so technically they fuck with the wrong person but they fuck with the right person um because all of the whatever that they did i know for in fact what came up was that the person who did it they're definitely gonna pass away and then the other individual who asked to get it done they are in fact gonna pass away as well too because they tried to do something to get you out of the way. And every time I look at this picture, <laughs> depending on the message that comes through, this looks like somebody who got mental illness to me. So whoever did this to you or requested that this to be done to you or whoever's bright idea this was, um, this person clearly has some type of mental illness. And everyone knows this. Wow. So everyone knows that this person has mental illness. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there we go with that energy again. The, the The point of the matter is there's consequences for actions. And when people start doing taking matters into their own hand, either doing death magic towards you or trying to have you physically uh, killed, they're telling the universe that they don't appreciate their life. So, I mean, that's pretty much that. Be blessed.